Well, we got some insane neighbor situations. <laughs> Crazy. You even saw it? Probably not. I don't even know. Breakfast feels weird. <laughs> I'm on my way to the mountains, and it's been a while since I've been up this way. Would you look at all the freaking wildflowers in the middle of the, the intersection? Can you even saunt it? Oh, good. I just ran over a piece of plywood. I hope there were no nails in that. Anyway, maybe you can see them. Maybe you can't. I was going to get a close-up with my cell phone, but I need to concentrate on driving so I don't hit things like plywood in the middle of the road. Four brand new tires. There better not have been any nails in that. Um, that would screw up my whole trip, too. It's a Sunday. They're probably in a damn place open close. Anyway, I am going for a week uh, by myself into the mountains to uh, go riding at like a couple, three, maybe four different OHV areas. Pretty stoked about it. Oh, where am I going here? 285 East. So, yeah, I'm pretty stoked about it. I'll be up there uh, today is a Sunday. I'm gonna be up there through Friday or so. Pretty stoked. All right, here I am, my little tiny house. Got a freaking wood pickus. Can you even sound it? Probably not. I'll be able to hear it though. I never saw the woodpeckers in my real life. say bed and breakfast I always say Airbnb saying bed and breakfast feels weird because they didn't give me no friggin breakfast and uh, pretty comfortable bed though still didn't sleep worth a dang I'm worried about my puppy at the house it's so long as she's ever been alone she's probably gonna be going crazy in her house but uh, anyway I was making myself a cup of coffee and I'm like why on earth when like it's a tiny house but it's really tall. Like from the outside, it looks way bigger than it actually is because there's all this wasted space, you know. So given that there's all this wasted space, first of all, why wouldn't you make the loft a little bit bigger so you can actually put like a dresser in there? Not to mention these freaking, these boards that are all the way up that go 
that serve as that serve as the banister safety rail. Like these, ain't, these ain't, look how loose they are. They ain't stopping nothing. Like ridiculous. Like they're pretty sure that's illegal and not up to code. Like those should be. I was drunk last night. I was like, Jesus Christ, don't even go near this side. <laughs> You're gonna fall straight off. Nothing's gonna stop you. This ain't stopping you at all. So that's garbage. That should be better. And, but my biggest complaint is why oh why with all this space would you buy a crappy fridge like this? Why not buy a nice big tall double door? Nobody wants to bend over like this. This is the shortest smallest fridge ever. You have 30 foot high ceilings. Like buy a nice big high one. Put your cabinets up. There's no need to go this small. Like what's the point of having all this space if you're not going to utilize it at least somewhat? You know, yeah, so I think I would have opted for the non-cabinet above the fridge, a higher fridge, and then go ahead and bring the loft out another six feet. Make another six by six feet or so, so you can put a couple dressers up there. Maybe a cabinet or three, but I apologize, I digress. Let's drink some coffee, go for a motorcycle ride. I've gotten, I've gotten epically used to my Breville Barista Express making delicious coffees every morning. In fact, so much so that I don't even use, it's put away in the cabinet, my, what is it? Am I supposed to be the best residential coffee machine that an individual non-business can buy? What is it, the, I don't even know. The $300 one, it's probably $400 now. Cannot even remember the name of it. I wanna say it's Mocha Bravo, is that even it? Wrong, 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 wrong. Anyway, on vacation, no such luck. They have a regular coffee pot no coffee for it. So they got these Keurigs. I put one of these fuckers in. Pacific Bold. They ain't kidding. I normally have two sweet and lows uh, in my coffee, in a cup of coffee that's a lot bigger. This is a small one. And I've already got four in there. And she's still strong as D's. Strong as D's. D's what, you ask? I'll leave that to your imagination. So I did hear a couple of barking dogs last night, which sucked. I had to do some white noise YouTube on my phone to drown that out as well as these weird split unit split level units whatever they're called they're they're really odd they make a little bit of noise but not the good kind of noise like from an AC like weird mechanical tinging noise and then as you may or may not be able to hear we've got some insane neighbor situations with some chickens that are absolutely out of control they got some peacocks over there too I don't know if you can hear it or not You can't hear it inside, so it's fine. How annoying is it outside? I, it was bad last night, even like during fire time. 